Hopefully now you will be able to reach the turning point of a project, that stage where nothing else needs to be added, yet it becomes very easy to improve on it and to polish it to your heart's content. Motivated by the idea that you can release it at any point and that anything you add from now on is simply icing on the cake. This is a great stage to get to, and if you haven't experienced it already, I suggest you make a small project right now so you can experience it for yourself. I mentioned it before but I'll say it again, enter competitions. They force you to budget your time and to work within deadlines. It can be exhilarating to do so, and I hardly see the point in making something if it isn't for a competition. It's almost like an invisible person, watching over what you're doing and face palming every time you do something wrong. It's awesome! I suppose that at the end of the day, you never really finish a project. You can always add more to it and to refine what's there with continuously diminishing returns, but for your own sanity and the sake of a deadline, you need to draw a line. We always aim too high and it pays off to have a bit of a buffer to help with the overlooked details and problems that will inevitably arise. The aim with deadlines is to complete a project before the time is up and to use the remaining time to polish things. If possible, I would try to do a 50-50 split, where say you're given a month to make something, you spend the first two weeks making it and the last two building on what is done. In the past I have spent a month on making things and then tried cramming a month's worth of polishing into that final day. It doesn't work. So. What happens once you've finished what you're working on? What happens once you return to the commotion and distractions of everyday life and the full extent of your project's future is revealed, with 30 downloads and one review from someone zero rating it because they can't extract the files? Well, then you build on it. You can make a sequel that's bigger and better than the original in every way. You know the franchise and the problems you'll face, and you know that at worst it will be as good as the original. It's lovely to be able to choose from an existing series or to start one from scratch. All I can say is that the best bits of my life have been the ones where I've had things to show for it. Entire years of my life have effectively been wasted where I haven't gone out of my way to make videos, games or music, but instead have just gotten older and not that much wiser. <laughs> the limiting factor is his own dignity. I reckon they think we're on drugs or something. <laughs> if you're the sort of person who returns from school or work exhausted and sits down to watch the eighth season of House or whatever, you owe it to yourself to try and make something instead. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you tried already. But now, thanks to these videos, you'll be able to finish things. Go now! Time is running out!